In this lesson, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of how to send your artwork to your large format printer using the RIP. It's very straightforward and I'll just show you the basic steps involved. So here we go to page 2 here. I've just brought in this artwork just to show you this lesson here. Now I'll go to wireframe mode just to look at the elements of this artwork. So here we've got some text, we've got a, um, a background image here, and we've applied some spot colours in, uh, in some of these uh, objects here. Now I'll just go back to normal view. We've also got uh, some texture fill here and a gloss effect on this word florist and some uh, prismatic effects on this wildflowers word up here. So once you're happy with your artwork and you want to actually print it out, you can send it to the um, artwork manager on its way through to the rip manager from where you actually uh, send the, you rip the actual artwork and it then prints to your large format printer. So the steps are pretty straightforward. I'll just show you those quickly. So to get this artwork into the uh, artwork manager, you can come to the file menu, you can come down to rip and you can click this rip button here or use the shortcut or alternatively you can come up to this button here, the rip button, and just click on that. It will process the job and it will load in this artwork directly into the artwork manager. And as you can see it says send artwork to rip. Now this little window here is a simple utility where we can set some options. For example, as I said before, this job's got some spot colours in it. So I can check on spot colours, we'll see this tab come up here, and we can uh, set what spot colours we want to include with this artwork that we're going to send to the RIP. We can set things like the size of the artwork, you know, if we want to crop some areas, etc. Uh, we can tile to media, and we can, set, uh, we can split this job up in little pieces. Each one of these tabs has its own lesson, and I'm not going to go into those things now. The point I'm trying to make here is, is that getting your artwork uh, into this module is easy, you just click the RIP button, it brings it in, you can set some of these parameters. Once you're happy with your artwork, you simply click on Accept here, and as you can see it loads it straight into the RIP Manager. So in here we can go to the first item in the list here, and we can see our uh, artwork that we've sent here. We see a preview of it here. Now, yes there are a lot of options we can set here, but we don't need to go through all of those options to be able to send this to our RIP. The only thing, we, oh, sorry, to our large format printer, the only thing we need to be able to do, or we will have had to have done to begin with, is obviously come up to the printer here, install the printer driver, which will appear in this list, go to the media libraries, uh, media profile library here, and actually set a media profile. Now, that's a fairly straightforward task. Again, it has its own lesson. Once you've done that, you've done it. You don't have to keep doing this. This is just a one-off thing. The only time you have to come and change these things is if you're introducing, say, a new type of media or you want to use, say, a new type of ICC profile. But th these things you do as you need to do them. Once you've set it once, it's basically set and forget unless you're using some new media or you want to use a new profile. So once you've done that, once you've set the media profile up, you've installed your printer uh, and you've set your sort of default settings that you want to use like your render DPI, this is obviously the print quality and things like this, these things are just basically, they're not set in stone but they're more or less set and forget unless you change uh, your media and you want to print different things but essentially it's set and forget. So once you've done that, which is all fairly straightforward and explanatory itself, it's not hard, you bring your jobs into the uh, RIP Manager, as you can see here. I've got some different jobs here, as you can see. I have my little preview. I'm now ready to uh, uh, print this. Now, I've got a couple of options. I can either use this, this uh, tab up here, the Job Queue, and I can actually manage my ripped files, or if I don't have time for that, I just want to get my job done, I can come here and just press or click Print, and the uh, You'll go to the job queue, it'll say, you sure you want to print this? I'll click yes, let's move this out of the way so you can see, and it's immediately printing this job. So it's actually ripping and printing simultaneously. And you can see it's mighty fast. I've got two CPUs dedicated to this, and you can see how fast this is. This job is like 48 inches by 36 inches. It's already finished it. And there it is printed, because I've, I've checked this on it, it stays in the list here. And that's it. I mean, that's how hard it is. You just simply load your, work, your artwork in, and you simply press print, and off it goes. So as long as you've set your default settings here, just to begin with, you can just come into the uh, RIP Manager here and literally print, click print and start printing. It doesn't need to be more complicated than that. Yes, there are a lot of options here and sure you can go to the job options here and you can set all sorts of parameters and things and you can bring in and adjust colors and you can do some very advanced things if you want to no problems at all. You can set profiles and different types of print qualities and, and these sorts of things, but you don't have to. 
it's not a it's not mandatory to do those things you can simply I'll show that again you can simply have your artwork and in fact I'll go to page 3 here this is a typical print and cut job you've got an image here which I've applied a contour cutting line again it has its own lesson about contour cutting you can learn how to do that at another time but again I just click on the rip button loads it in the artwork manager I just set it that I wanted to be print and cut by printing on uh, clicking on this button or setting it here print and cut click accept loads it straight into the rip manager there it is there it's ready to go and if I want to set this as a print and cut job I simply click on this button here it's print and cut I click print it says you sure you want to do this click yes and while we're sitting here doing this lesson it's already uh, a quarter way through this job as you can see here it's ripping this job right now live to my machine and it's also printing it as well and as soon as it's finished printing this job as it has now now the printer will go and actually cut this contour cut line here so that's how we send uh, jobs to the uh, artwork manager and then the artwork manager into the rip manager we simply go here we see our jobs and um, we can simply just click print or rip only and you can see the lessons on how to use these particular there's different methods on how you might want to actually manage your ripped files that's a different issue you can do that you can use the job queue and you can manage your, your ripped jobs that's entirely up to you <clears throat> but if you just want to come in and print them straight away it's as easy as going artwork rip set a couple of parameters except rip manager print it's as easy as that it really really is quite easy and uh, that's how the, that's a, an, a quick overview of how the rip manager works or the rip, ripping process in uh, vinyl master and that's the end of this lesson